Hey what's up guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can combine multiple loras in comfy ui now for in order to do that we need to first install some custom nodes and uh, i'm going to guide you here so on the right side you can uh, see this manager here and by the way if you are totally new to uh, comfy ui uh, you might need to watch some tutorials regarding uh, installing uh you know custom manager in comfy ui but anyway let's just uh, continue from here so i'm going to click manager and i'm going to click custom nodes so there are two custom nodes uh see not two but uh, two uh, i would say that sets that you will need and if you type in, uh, in this search bar here next to search efficient e double f just type e double f and then you will uh, have this one that is the efficiency nodes for comfy ui version 2.0 uh, 2.0 plus and uh, you need to install it and i have already installed it as you can see here and by the way if you have already installed it you know sometime before that um, you know sometime ago uh, you might need to uninstall the previous version of this efficiency nodes and uh, then reinstall it because uh, there was a problem i was facing that i had installed these efficiency nodes you know a few months ago and uh, the nodes were not uh, no longer working today when i you know, uh, recently i need to combine more than one loras so uh, you need to uninstall the previous one and then reinstall it and and and, uh, and another set that you require would be role comfy role let's say just select here yeah this one comfy ui comfy role custom nodes you need to install this set as well so i have already installed these so let's just close it and close it now as you can see that after using these custom nodes our workflow becomes super simple and super clean and, and this is an example that i have already done using the uh, these custom nodes this is the efficiency custom node efficiency loader and uh, case sampler simple case sampler now i will uh, show you how you can create this workflow as well but before that let me show you uh, the effect of adding more than one uh, loras on your image so this is just a simple uh, generation and without the use of any lora as you can see that i have not loaded any lora here and uh, i have um you know use the fix sheet because i wanted to show you uh, the difference uh, it makes as you as you know add more loras so this is the very simplest uh comfy ui you can say workflow for generating an image let's just move to this one here in this one i have added a lolo a lora and i have selected the you know the default lora node here instead of you know putting the lora here i just simply added the lora simple node here and then from here i have generated this image you can see that after adding just simple one lora it has given me a quite uh, unique result which is much better i would say that from this original base one it has more artistic style to it so this is uh, after adding just one lora using the simple you know default lora node and in this image you can see that i have combined multiple lora using this node here and after combining these three loras i got a more you can see more interesting and more unique result and i would say the more artistic result i i think you will be able to sell as a poster as well so this is uh, the effect that you can get after combining multiple loras now uh, let me just show you how you can uh, you know create this kind of workflow this is the already loaded so let me just uh, delete these and let's start from scratch so first we need a loader i have double clicked here and i'm going to put e double f here in the search and i'm going to use this efficient loader now that we have efficient loader here and uh, let me just extend it so we can see the model in here and then we need an efficient case sampler as well so i can again search case sampler i can either use advanced or the simple simpler one would work fine as well but we make sure that you use this uh efficient case sampler and then of course we need a save image so let's just uh, add another node here save image and that's so this these are the th three nodes that we need in order to generate a complete image so first we need to select a uh, model so i'm going to select the dream shaper here and uh, we are going to use the bake ve and uh, flora we do not need it we are going to put positive prompt here and negative prompt here uh i'm going to select the height to be 768 for this one 
and batch size is going to be one and uh, yeah we don't have to worry about these settings again uh, again so let's just connect this node from model to model positive to, to positive conditioning negative to negative we need latent image to latent image and we have VAE to optional VAE here then from the case simpler we are just need to combine the image to save image box here and uh, let's just copy the same prompt from the previous example that i created and uh, as you can see that i have not added any lora i'm going to uh, make the steps to be 30 cfg scale 7 uh, euler and uh, scheduler normal i think i'm going to keep that as well you can practice it but just this is just to show you how you can combine more than one lor loras so if you don't do not want to use it you will not need to uh, select any lora here so i'm going to cube prompt here and it is going to generate the base image uh, once it is generated you will see that how does it look without any lora and without anything so after it has been generated i'm going to uh, fix this seed and then you will be able to see the different results that i get after using the same seed but combining loras and everything okay this is the result we get without the use of any lora now let's just fix the seed and i'm going to select the lora just one lora in the efficient loader and i'm going to select this log glitch and keeping it one to one and as the seed is fixed let's just q prompt again so we got this result interesting now if we need to combine more than one lora we do not uh, we cannot actually use this efficient loader so i'm going to select none here in the loader uh, lo lora name and i'm going to open a new tab here a new node here i'm going to select lora here and we need this uh, cr lora stack this one here and from that first we need to connect this lora stack to lora stack and let's just uh, first select the lo first lora the same lora as we selected in the last step and before we press generate or q prompt uh, we need to switch it on because by default it is off so we can switch it on so this will actually basically generate the same image if i just q prompt and uh, in order to combine it we need to uh, you know select lora name 2 and uh, this is the second lora that i have selected and uh, i'm going to switch it on as well let's just uh, maybe decrease the weight of this one to 0.8 something like that and this one as well point something like that and this is using the two loras just just q prompt so after using two loras we got this interesting result as you can see that uh, we can generate pretty you know good artistic results artistic images using these loras. and we can combine the three image uh, the third lora here as well let's just switch it on start the lora and let's just decrease its weight as well 0.7 now you can see that in the stack we have the option to select uh, three loras so we can combine up to three loras in one stack but if we need to combine more than three loras we need to introduce another stack here let's just introduce another stack lora stack and then from this one we need to first you know bring this one lower stack into this one and then from that one into this lower stack uh, but i think i would not would not need more than three lower so let's just delete that and let's just use uh, generate another image using the three loras so this gives us this uh, another unique and interesting result depending upon the lora that you use so guys this is how you can combine multiple loras in comfy ui so if you have found this video to be helpful and useful make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching